It's unboxing time. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited for the next upgrade. It's upgrade 25. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I could guess what's inside, but I'm always guessing wrong, so I'm not guessing this time. Instead, let's see. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yes! Oh my god! It's squash! Oh my god! Okay, I think this could be my new favorite box. I love gouache so much. However, I have never used gouache by this brand. It's gouache by Talons. And we have permanent rose, light blue, Naples yellow red, and opaque white. We have a central pen document fine liner with a very small tip. And we have a round brush in size 6 by Habico. Never heard of that brand before, but apparently it's German. And we have glue. A glue stick? Okay. I'm not sure how glue relates to gouache, but <laughs> okay, let's see what else is inside here. We have the bottle post and an envelope. We have the stickers. It's upgrade X Rose Art. And what else is inside here? Oh my god, there are more stickers! How come there are so many stickers this time? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I can put that one on my forehead. That would fit quite perfectly. Okay, these stickers are super cool. <laughs> I love them all. And we have some paper which is rather thick and has a smooth surface. Um, we have some kind of foil. Um, I'll put that aside. <laughs> oh and we have a gorgeous artwork in here. It's Upgrade X Art Fusion. I just love the color scheme and the portrait and everything about this one. So if you want to follow Art Fusion, this is the Instagram handle. And we have more stickers. Surprise, surprise! So I'll have a look at the bottle post to see um, why there are that many stickers this time. Not that I'm not appreciating it, but I'm kind of surprised. And I wonder if it's supposed to work with this foil. Yeah, let me have a look. As I just found out, this is transfer foil. So if you apply the glue to paper and put the foil on top and let everything dry, you can peel the foil off and it will leave some silver on the paper. So I'm really excited to try this. However, I'm actually not sure which side to apply, so I need to test that. <laughs> and also I just learned that this is mixed media paper by Kensen. It's the Imagine paper, which is 200 GSM. And 
I'm really excited to try this, however. There are only three sheets, so I shouldn't waste them. And I think I won't do the swatches on this paper because, well, I only have three sheets. And the topic of this month is Mysterious Mind. I don't have an idea yet, but I'm fairly positive that I'll come up with something nice. So, let's start swatching. I just took some other mixed media paper I had at home. And I'm gonna try the glue stick first. So we have a rather wide chisel tip here. And well, you're supposed to pump it to get glue out of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll find out um, which side of the foil has to go onto the glue. And ah, now there's coming glue out of it. This works actually quite well. I've never seen a glue stick like that before. So let's find out which side has to go onto the glue. I have literally no clue. I'll just put this one here and <laughs> hope for the best. And while the glue dries and it's 50-50, but I think I put the wrong side onto the glue. <laughs> we will see. I'll try the gouache colors. So first we will test Naples Yellow Red. If I had to give this color a name, I would call it peach and not Naples yellow red. I think sometimes the names of colors can be really misleading. Like, if you told me I'm painting with Naples yellow red, I wouldn't think of this color. However, it's really pretty and I think this one could work as a skin color or something. So maybe I'll paint a portrait. So let's test light blue. Whoa! Um, it tests itself. <laughs> so let's test light blue. Oh my god, this color is so pretty. It's so vibrant, I'm in love with it. How can a single color be that pretty? And last but not least... Whoa, that was a lot. Permanent Rose. Wow. These are so pigmented. I have a feeling that these will be super fun to work with. Let's try to mix some colors. So we'll take some of the permanent rose and some blue and we're getting a super pretty purple. The colors are actually super thick. If you use gouache paint by Arteza for example it's rather thin but this is super super thick. So what can I say about the white? It works just fine. It lightens the colors and in general the gouache paints really feel nice. They're super smooth, however rather thick. So we have the fine liner left. Whoa, okay. This one is super super thin. It's a 0.1 fine liner. So it's light fast and water resistant, so basically you can put down your sketch with this fine liner and then paint over it without smudging the ink. And yeah, so last but not least, let's see if I put the foil on here the right way. 
so I guess it was right. You can actually see where I ripped off the silver. <laughs> it looks super pretty. It's very shiny, like actual silver. At this point, I can already say that this is a super, super cool box. So yesterday I had a sudden idea what I could paint. I thought about what's mysterious about our minds and I think the most mysterious thing is what we are capable of imagining. I mean, take the Harry Potter books or some other fantasy story. Every fantasy creature you see in there started as an idea in someone's mind. So I decided to draw a creature of my own. And yeah, I'm not good at character design, so I kept it rather simple. I don't know why, but this girl with horns just came to my mind, and so I drew her. And I'm planning on making the jewelry silver, and I hope that works out. I didn't make them too detailed, because the tip of the glue stick is rather wide, and I don't want them to look messy, but we will see. And I'm actually kind of nervous about coloring in the portrait because I never actually colored a portrait with gouache, as I'm realizing now. I only did it with watercolors and gouache, but never only gouache, so I'm very excited to see how it works out. And yeah, let's get started. Let's do some finishing touches. I let it dry overnight and redrew the guiding lines for the headband and the necklace where the foil will be. And I think I'll use the fine liner to go over the pupils to make them stand out a little more. And I'm thinking about going over the lashes too, but I'm not sure yet because I'd be really sad if I ruined the painting at this point.
So as you just saw, the necklace and the headband were completely messed up. But I took an X-Actor knife and scratched off the excess foil so I could save it a little bit. However, it could have been way worse so that's fine for now. It was my first try. Now that I'm done with the painting, I wish that I hadn't tried to put all the silver dots around here. However, in general, I'm actually really happy with the painting. It's not what I would usually paint, but it turned out quite well. And the gouache was really nice to work with. However, I needed a lot of water because it was so thick and it dried super super fast so I had to work really quickly here and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye!